All right, number three, um, this says a hypergeometric experiment is conducted with the given parameters. We're going to compute the probability of the random um, variable x. So we're going to use StatCrunch. Um, it's a bit by hand, but we just want you to be able to compute it here. So I'm going to shrink this a little bit so I can see the parameters. All right, so we're going to go to Stat calculators and then hypergeometric so remember the difference with the hypergeometric um, we have n which is going to be equal to little n and stat crunch we have little n which is equal to m and then we still have k which is k and then we have x which is still x from what we understand so they give us big n which is 150 that's going to be represented by this lowercase n. Um, the sample size is 22, which is going to be represented by m. And then k is 24. And then we want to know x uh, equals 9. So we're going to come down here to equal and then we're going to change this to 9. And then we get 0 0.001699. Nine. We'll round up to 0 0.017. 0 0 Alright, so number four, they want us to compute the mean. So recall the formula for the mean was equal to n times k divided by the big N. And then I'm sure they're going to ask us the standard deviation. So sigma is going to be equal to was the big N minus the little N over N minus 1 times basically the mean which is here and then that was multiplied by N minus K over big N again so <coughs> the mean Pull up uh, graphing calculator. And we got those two formulas. Okay. So we are going to do twenty three just a little n and then times we're going to do k which is 29 divided by 194 so we get a mean and we're going to round the two decimal places 3.44 Alright, so with the standard deviation, <clears throat> you need to put everything that's being multiplied on the top in parentheses. Um, well, there are different parts, so you got to be careful. Um, this calculator can do a fraction bar, but you would need to do each of these division bars in parentheses, otherwise it would mess it up. So in the calculator, I would put like a double parentheses if you don't have the fraction bar, so indicating that starts. Um, the fraction you got that numerator and then uh, the denominator and that ends that saga and then you put all this in parentheses and then I would do this whole thing in parentheses as well which would mean you have a double parentheses here and then a double here <coughs> I'm gonna do it with the fraction bar I'll try to do both just take a little bit more time so if you have the graphing 84 with the operating you have to do alpha 
y equal and then you can do enter and it will give you a fraction bar um, I should have done second square root first let me clear this out so I'm gonna do second and make a square root bar because I want that fraction under the square root and then alpha y equal enter it's gonna make a fraction under there so this I'm gonna do the big end 194 minus 29 is it 29 no 23 minus 23 okay so this big n minus little n and then we will have 194 minus 1 which I could just put 193 and then we're going to do times and it was basically the mean which was going to be little n which is 23 times and I'm gonna make another fraction bar I'm gonna say alpha y equal enter <coughs> Now, I think you can do all of the top as one because these are all being multiplied as one term. So, yeah, I'll do it that way. Um, so, we are K, which is 29 over 194. And then times and one more fraction. And we will have 194 minus k which is 29 <coughs> divided by 194 okay so we get this for our standard deviation and we probably want to round that to two decimal places so 1.61 now if you don't have the operating system again all of this is being multiplied so I can just put everything on the top uh, as multiplied first and then divided by everything on the bottom so and I'm going to do this under square root. So I'm just going to say second square root. And then I'm going to double open parentheses because I want a numerator and then a denominator. So I'm going to open and then open for the numerator. And we're going to do 194 uh, minus uh, 23. So many numbers to deal with. And then that's going to be times 23 again. And that's going to be times uh, 29. So I'm, I'm here, I got these two times the 23 times the 29. And then I'm going to do times the 194 minus 29. So I'm going to open parentheses again. And do 194 minus the 29. So those I have to put in the set parentheses. So that's going to be the end of the numerator. I'm going to close it. Now because the calculator just keeps extending the square root, it's keeping all that under there. So now I'm going to do divide it by. And then I'm going to open up another parentheses. I'm going to double open because all of this I want to be considered on the bottom. And double open for this first one. It's going to be 194 minus 1. And then we're going to close. We're going to multiply that by 194. And then we're going to multiply that again by 194. And then I'm going to close the parentheses meaning the end of the bottom. Now you definitely got to double check, make sure you typed everything in correctly, didn't make some errors. Data entry is the biggest or most common error, but when I do that, I hit enter. So I get the exact same number that I did when I punched it in the calculator and it put it in for me. So 1.61.